Good afternoon. Matt is away today. There's some positive news for Canadians' pocketbooks. The rate of inflation slowed slightly last month, hopefully a sign of things to come in this new year. But it's a different story for grocery prices. December's consumer price index rose 6.3% year over year. It's a drop of 0.5% from November. Here's a breakdown of the inflation numbers. Canadians still paid more for groceries in the last month of the year, 11% more year over year. Gas Gas prices dropped 13% from November to December, and not surprisingly, mortgage interest costs are still high, up 18% year over year. Breaking down the grocery prices further, fresh fruit saw the highest increase, 13.6% year over year. Bakery products not far behind at 13.5%, and coffee and tea up 13.2%. Joining us now with more local reaction to the inflation rate and the high grocery prices is CT. TV's Leah LaRock. Leah. Well, Katie, it'll come to, as no surprise to anyone who has gone to the grocery store lately. Those prices, uh, milk, uh, anything dairy related, bread, pasta, all of those things just seem to be creeping up, getting more and more expensive. And people who are feeling that pinch the most are those who sell food for a living, restaurants. We just visited a couple of local restaurants here and they say that every time they go to the grocery store uh, or buy food in bulk, they're really noticing just how much food is going up. So the fact that the overall inflation um, uh, number is going down slightly, this the food uh, prices don't seem to be on par with that. Um, we went to the East India Company here on Somerset and he gave us a couple ex examples. He said that about a year ago he was paying five dollars for two liters of milk. Now he's paying six fifty. Uh, he says he uses a lot of um, the fresh uh, flour and canola oil. So the flour went from about twelve dollars for a big pack to 48. Uh, and then that canola oil, which he says is a basis for a lot of those ingredients, just seems to be going up by, you know, 200 percent. So they're trying to find ways to save money where they don't have to pass those extra costs on to the consumers. They've had to raise their prices uh, in the past couple of years since COVID-19, but they're finding other ways that they can save money. You know, they said uh, things like cauliflower went up or, or lettuce. So what they're doing is they're just not using um, their recipes that involve cauliflower flour or lettuce until those prices go down and they've even started to do some pickup grocery stores instead of getting a lot of these items delivered some people who work in the restaurant are then going and doing these deliveries um, and pickups themselves just to find any way to save money because the cost of everything especially food just keeps going up katie it certainly does ctv's leela rock reporting live for us today